Hey there, guys! This is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. Last time we left off, it was uh, quite an episode because we uh, were in the process of getting Al sending, I, I believe so anyway. And we learned about her backstory, her father being kidnapped by the Myrmidons, and uh, we figured out that code, at least a key, thanks to the ending we got for Dio, uh, Dio's ending. So now we gotta figure out, uh, we have to decode this, um, this key. Or, this, well, we just gotta decode the code. So, using a... Oh, shoot, I forgot the name of it already. I should've wrote down the number. Ah, <laughs> this is... Oh, this is fantastic. Um... I really should have wrote it written down. Why didn't I write it down somewhere? Why does it look like that? Oh shoot! I may have to end the game and go back to where the hell they they set it, because that's the only way I'm gonna figure it out now. There's 198 million. That's all I remember. 400 and something. Oh jeez, it's not in the archives anywhere. Oh yeah, remember we got this weird uh, schematic here. No, 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 no. Um, man, we're almost kind of done in terms of like a couple stuff here. So they're probably not going to tell us here. Shoot. Maybe I can guess the, the letter. So actually, no. I remove that. I don't. I don't. I don't want. I don't want this to show up. I want the... Uh, <laughs> Hold on a minute, guys. This is going to piss me off. I, I want to get rid of the... Um... The top screen. Like, you know, the... Uh, I think you guys know what I'm trying to say here. Um, so I, I can get the thing back, but the issue is... It won't let me. It's stuck on this. I, I want to remove it, go back to where I was, and... Oh, shoot. I bet there's only one more room we had to go through as well, according to that. I don't think it's in a secret. I don't want to look in there. Um... Okay, so it was C... It was O. <laughs> Come over, and I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens when we get a game over. I think. I don't know the password. Mm. Is it going to give me only a couple times here to do whatever? There we go. Unfortunately, I had to do that. Oh, I can't figure it out. You what? Are you serious? Hey, get off my back! If I don't know, I don't know! What? Oh, just forget it. I'll figure it out on my own. She stalked off. Wait! I went to follow her, but... Stay where you are! I don't have any use for another brain-dead man. Her voice was un unexpectedly furious, and it stopped me cold. She fixed me with an icy glare and turned and walked off. I stayed frozen where I was and watched her go. I guess technically, I guess it is part of a game over. So, okay. Let's not do that. Let's, uh... So, let's go ahead and do this. I can't, I can't believe I put in that many hours in the game. Okay. So... Hmm. Now. 
Let me go here. And I want to write down that number. <laughs> Actually, shoot, if I do that, then... Uh, I'm going to write it down in front of me. How about that? Yes. Well. Yes. What do you propose? And I, I'm, I'm afraid is... to continue on a little bit more. Okay, wait. It was right here. Actually, that's not what I need. Well, what the heck? That's one hundred ninety-eight okay, million. Okay, that's what I wanted. Four hundred forty-nine thousand three hundred fifty-one to the third power. Uh, what do I do? Should I text it to myself or something? Cause I, I'm afraid if I open up a memo that I'm not gonna get the, I'm not gonna get the other thing here. So, yeah. hold on. I know this is so not like professional what I'm doing, but again, it's me. So we got. Pretend I'm writing in a memo. We got one nine eight uh four four nine three five one. Okay. So now go ahead and we'll skip all this. I don't know what how the game would end there. It's like, oh come on, can't you figure it out? I mean, whatever. I I, I would think like, oh, it's just a nice little mini game to play, but you know, screw it. So we got one, and we got nine to the right. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Boom. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. M. Um, and then we need four. Yeah, we need four. One, two, three, four. P. Another four. One, two, three, four. L. Now we need a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. E. Uh, three. One, two, three. T. I mean, it's, it's probably gonna be completed. I need five from that, right? One, two, three, four, five. E. And one more. D. Completed. Okay. I did it! Completed! That's it! That's the answer! Completed? Are you sure? Yeah! I did exactly what you told me, and the word I got is completed. Well, actually, it's completed, completed, completed. The code and the letters repeat every two lines. It just repeats. Hmm. Well, I can't remember the code like you can, but if you're certain, I believe you. I'm definitely certain. All right, then. I wonder what completed is supposed to mean, though. What? Aside from the obvious, you mean? I'm guessing here it means mission complete. So that's what the transmitter was for. Huh? What are you talking about? What transmitter? I barely even heard her. Suddenly, my mind was full of memories that hadn't been there a moment before. It was like a wave had rushed away to sand, revealing a band of precious gems underneath a bed. Damn it! Why didn't I realize it before? I could remember a series of numbers, but not this? At least I remembered it now. Dio was a member of the Myrmidons. And not just any member. He was their leader. That meant he had to be the one who planted the bombs. Hey, are you listening to me? Yeah. Then answer my question. What the hell was that? What's this about a transmitter? I didn't trust myself to try and explain it to her. More than likely, she'd just think I was insane. 
Even I could barely make sense of a sudden influx of new information. Wait. Don't tell me you're one of the Myrmidons. <laughs> if I was, do you think I, I really revealed myself like this? Point. Out of nowhere, Clover appeared. Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Really? We're all down in the Floor B warehouse. Well, all of us but Luna and Clark. Why? Oh, we still got 45 minutes until the, the, the white doors open. I know that. Oh, okay. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you came Quark didn't know about the white doors. Tenmyochi told us about them. He said he'd show us where they were, so we all followed him down to the Floor B warehouse. I'm assuming you left Quark with Luna? Yeah. Anyway, when we showed up, Phi and Kay were already there. So? Well, all of a sudden, Phi, Tenmyoji, and Dio all started yelling at each other. What? Why? Did something happen? According to Clover, the last AB game had been the cause of their fight. Even though Temioji only had one BP, Fi had chosen Betray. They started a fight, and since Dio had pressed Betray on behalf of his team, eventually he got dragged in too. That seems odd. Fi only had one BP too. Her choice seems like a perfectly valid defensive move. Ugh. Just come with me! Kay's trying to calm them down, but there's only one of him! Okay, okay. Come on, Alice, let's go. Coming! Oh, man. Okay, I can't believe... It. That was a little, um... Bump in a row in the beginning of the episode there. It's like, oh, shoot! But, uh... I did it! Huh. I mean, I guess I could... I, I knew what the three letters were. I'm like, I probably could have figured what else could have it been, but, eh, you know... Whatever. All four of them were still there uh, when we arrived. They seemed to have calmed down a bit, but the tension in the air was almost visible. I felt like I'd stepped into a room full of flammable gas. Even a small spark could turn a whole place into a raging inferno. Even Kay, usually so calm and collected, was standing uh, ramrod straight with his hand balled to a fist at, at his side. I looked at Alice, pursed my lips, and then headed over to the angry knot of people occupying most of the room. Clover told me what's going on. This whole thing is stupid. You guys need to knock it off. Stupid? What about this is stupid? We're talking about my life, you self-righteous dick. I know. But yelling at each other isn't going to solve your problem. The best thing for us to do right now is to trust each other and get through this. Wouldn't you agree? Hmm. Hard to trust someone who tried to kill me. Same to you. I told you letting Dio vote was a stupid idea. What did you think he was going to do? You might as well have pressed the button yourself. I couldn't just leave Quark alone. That's no excuse. And where do you get off telling me I shouldn't have picked Betray? Did you even think that through? What, I was supposed to pick Ally? If I'd done that, I'd be dead right now. I could say the same thing to you. Damn good thing Dio didn't choose Ally. Please, that's enough from both of you. Sigma's right. This isn't the time to be bickering with each other. Oh, you don't get to talk. You tried to betray Clover and escape on your own. Perhaps. But I think that's better than nearly killing someone. Well, well, I only did it so that she wouldn't kill Tenmyoji. Ugh! Oh, damn it! Enough already! I roared of fury and my voice echoed and rebounded off the walls of the warehouse. Everyone fell silent. I didn't know how long that silence would last, so I decided to put it all on the table. There was only one way I was going to be able to take control of the situation. Guys, listen to me. We really don't have time for this. I was met with a number of glares, but I soldiered on. Soldiered. See, the thing is, I figured out who planted the bombs. What? Is this what you were talking about earlier? Sort of, yeah. I know which one of you it is. Well, spit it out then. Please, explain what's going on here. I don't think I need to. 
They're gonna admit their guilt in just a few minutes. What? You're all gonna hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Or I guess I should say Dio's mouth. <laughs> what are you on? You think I set those bombs? Yes, I do. Hey, if you're gonna accuse me, you better have some pretty damn good evidence, pal. I'm not accusing you. I'm just stating a fact. Oh yeah? Where the hell did you get that fact? Fun as it was, I knew taunting alone wouldn't be enough to make Dio confess. He just played dumb. He was good at it, and I get nothing. That meant I was gonna have to trick him. Well, you see, I'm actually from Free the Soul. Free the Soul? What's that? Some kind of hippie shoe company? Don't play dumb, Dio. Or should I call you... Left. Brother ordered me to come here. To keep an eye on you. It was quick, but just for a moment I saw his eyes twitch. I leapt on that moment of weakness like a hungry dog in the steak. Fine. Skepticism is understandable. Admirable, even. But perhaps this will convince you. I pressed forward, pulling out every fact I could remember. I told Dio about Brother's background and how his younger brother left had been murdered. I mentioned it casually that the Myrmidons were, were all clones of a single person. So, still not convinced? How about this? 7815361080, blah, blah. Do a little prime factor decomposition on that, and you'll get 198,449,351 to third power. If I'm not who I say I am, how on earth could I possibly know that? What? No, that's not possible. Finally. So, let's start over, shall we? I was sent here to watch your every move. It seems our wise and noble brother didn't doesn't trust you. He suspects betrayal. No! You're lying! I assure you, I'm not. But if you don't believe me, why don't you go outside and call him yourself with your transmitter? <sighs> no. No! You have to be lying! Brother trusts me! That's why he chose me for this mission! Why would he make me the leader of the Myrmidons if he- Huh? Sorry, what was that? I said, why would he have made me the leader of the Myrmidons if- <laughs> I grinned. Wait, what the hell? Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, Dio. Hey, I'm, I've never even seen Brother. What the hell was all that? How did you know all those things? Dunno. Maybe I was divinely inspired? Don't give me that shit! Uh, what's going on? What are these Myrmidons? Dio and I stared at one another while Clover and Temioja quickly explained to Fly and Kay about the memory card and the number two bomb, and about the organization code we found that, uh, from a terrorist organization called the Myrmidons. So you mean to say someone from the Myrmidons planted the bombs? And Dio pretty much just admitted to doing it? Yeah. Bastards. I'll never forgive you. I heard a low, furious muttering behind me and turned to see Alice. Her lips pulled back into a snarl. I... I'm going... to kill you! Her voice rose to a scream as she charged toward Dio. He ducked out of the way smoothly and pulled something out from his pocket. Oh, crap. Whoa there. Oh, th there's that other scene. Oh, so he has a freaking detonator. That's great. I like my women a little feisty. But you're taking it a little too far, sweetheart. Tone it down. What? You see this? You know what it is, don't you? Oh. Oh my god. Is that... Is that the detonator? Exactly. And I assume you know what happens if I press this button? Yes. I think I do. I'm guessing it'll set off both of the bombs. Mm, well, I wouldn't say both. You mean there's still a number one bomb we haven't found? Correct. And there's one more, too. No. There are four bombs? Exactly. I planted four bombs. They're the ones numbered 1, 2, and 3, 
But there's also one more. Bomb number zero. Add all that up and you're looking at about four tons of explosive power. Those go off and it's all over. That's enough oomph to turn this whole place into a smoking crater. Aren't you forgetting something? That'd kill you too. So? I'm ready for that. I've got spares. Spares? Is that what Sigma was talking about? Yeah. Clones. I heard Alice whisper something to Clover. Let's go, Clover. Show him all that training wasn't for nothing. Huh? Oh, yeah. Before I had a chance to ask him what was going on, they moved. Holy crap! She roared and leapt toward Dio, Clover following just behind. Alice threw a punch at Dio's face, and, and as he dodged, Clover spun around from behind her. Dio grunted and turned to focus on Alice, but Clover darted in and snatched the detonator from his hand. Clover, get him! Right! Sigma, catch! Huh? Oh, don't do that! Oh man, if it was me, I would've- I probably would've dropped the damn thing. Before I could respond, Clover had thrown a detonator at me. I scrambled to grab it out of the air and held it to my chest. And I pressed it. Damn it! Stop! Let me go! Still let go of me, you asshole! Yelling didn't do him any good, and Dio found himself subdued by the skillful teamwork of Alice and Clover. Strangely, though, one, once they had a hold of him, he stopped struggling. I was reminded of a gazelle of its neck in the mouth of a lion. Had he surrendered? Or did he have some trick up his sleeve? It didn't feel right. I didn't have to wait long for my, my, for my misgivings to prove true. The detonator in my hand suddenly began to flash. What? Ha! Serves you right! <laughs> What are you laughing at? You! Her! All of you! God, you're stupid! What? Why? See that detonator you threw to Sigma? You activated it. If it gets more than a meter away from me, it sets itself off. We figured someone might try to take it away, so we put in a little safeguard. Since you two were kind enough to take it away from me, the bombs have gone from remote control to countdown timer. Go ahead and destroy the detonator if you want. Won't make any difference now. The bombs are gonna go off no matter what. How long do we have? <laughs> About 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Oh no. My condolences. Well, what can we do to stop them? I told you that already. First, we need the device that allows us to input information. Then we plug it into each bomb and enter the code. Hey, Alice. Who the hell are you? How do you know all this? None of your damn business. Just tell me where the input device is. Huh. Well, that's none of your damn business. <laughs> Fuck! Stop! You're gonna break it! Of course. That's the plan. Please, stop! Just tell me what I want to know. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. It's in my coat, the right-hand pocket. Clover, check it out. Right. She nodded and started digging through her po his pockets. After a few minutes... It's no use! There's nothing here! Did you lie to me? No! I swear, keep looking. Oh, wait. There is something in here. Clover pulled out her hand from his pocket and held it out. Is that a pill? Like for medicine? Hey, what is this? Crap, it's probably like a freaking suicide pill. Huh? I can't see it. Bring it over here. Clover frowned and moved closer to Dio, holding the pill out toward him. Suddenly, he moved, his right hand sh uh, snaking out to grab the pill from Clover's hand. Before anyone could react, he shoved it into his mouth. I heard a tiny crack as he bit down on it. Almost immediately, he grimaced in pain. Shit! 
What? What was that? Poison, I guess. What? Damn! How could I be so stupid? <laughs> his eyes rolled into his head, and flecks of spittle began to trickle out of the corners of his mouth. I grabbed him by the hair and shook. What the hell are you doing? Where's the input device? <laughs> Lost it. In my couch. Back home. Don't screw with me! Fine. Don't tell us. How about you give us the deactivation codes instead? Deactivation? <laughs> you guys are persistent. Fine. Not gonna do you much good anyway. And I'll tell you, but you only get one. And this is the deactivation code for bomb three. Ready? L X Q L H C N M R. Thank you. Why does the memo look so weird? So I got smudged. That's not cool. Get out of why do I get Is that like a Is that like a um like a thing in this game? Like over time the memo goes away? So I I forgot the I forgot what the number the one on top is. What code that is. I don't know if it's number one or two. The one on the bottom is number zero. And this will be number three. Once again, I'm writing it down. I'll transfer this stuff later somewhere else. So, L, X, Q. Let me rewrite that, because I'm... I'm sure, once again, I keep I keep saying this. Every single time I use this thing, it's like, Oh, I probably don't need this. I can probably write, you know, it'll probably tell me automatically or something, but... Because I don't know, and I don't want anybody telling me, just, just in case, I, I want to write it down. Okay. I think that's it. L A L yeah L X Q L H C N M R. That's number three. <sighs> what about the other three? Tell us the other three! He didn't even seem to hear me. My body will be a part of the foundation of a bright future. His voice is weak, and more foam is dripping out of his mouth. Such a beautiful world. May brother live in everlasting glory. Those were the last words Dio spoke. He died with a strange, happy smile. Damn. He only gave us the password for one of the bombs. This is bad. What are we gonna do? I don't know. How much time have we got? 25 minutes. Are you sure? Yes. When he told us the time, I checked my bracelet. It said exactly 30 minutes. You mean the bombs are going to go off the same time the next set of doors opens? Yes. The time on your bracelet is the time we have left. Oh. So, 25 minutes. This isn't good. I was hoping that we might be able to escape through the white doors, but... It takes five minutes for the primary door to open and close. So... Yes, I know. There's no way we can get through them before the explosion happens. Well, there's no point just standing around. We should start looking. We need three things. The password input device. And the remaining two bombs, right? Right. We also need passwords for all the bombs other than number three. Exactly. Maybe Dio has a note or something. Hold on. Let me check. She knelt down and quickly checked his pockets and sleeves, and sat back on her heels, frustrated. Damn. He's clear.
clean. She looked pale. Then we'll just have to hope we find it somewhere. Tenmyoji, can you go tell Luna what's happened? Right. I'm on it. Good. The rest of you, let's move out. We can do this. Let's go. We all took off on the run, heading to different parts of the building. But all our searching turned up nothing. As we searched, the clock kept ticking. Then at last, the chromatic doors opened. Chromatic five. Our time had run out. We watched the white doors open. Were they the doors to heaven or to hell? The thought barely had time to flutter through my mind before everything went white. We didn't have time to say goodbye. A thousand emotions flooded my brain in those last moments. Why? How? How had we ended up this way? Then a blistering wave of heat, at the surface of the sun itself, wiped out any lingering thoughts. My consciousness slipped away into a bottomless pool of darkness. Neither heaven nor hell. Only the void. And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been another, if you want to say, ending ending to the game. I assume it's Alice's ending. It has to be. So, there's one thing I got kind of... How do I explain it? A little thing I'm, I'm I guess, upset about in this game is I think we all knew that it was freaking Dio. It had to be. I mean, we he set out I mean, we knew from the, like from a while ago that he set the number 0 bomb, so why wouldn't he set off the other ones? But I guess that wasn't enough information to say like, oh, he did it for sure. But it just the thing is Dio is so unlikable that if a game like this you make it makes you wonder like, oh wait, that maybe it wasn't him who actually did it when in the end it's, it is, you know. So it's like, uh, maybe, maybe it could have been a little bit better in that sense, in the story-wise. But it's still good, but it just seems predictable. But you know what? Um, what, what can you do? You know, it's still an amazing story. Um, so regardless, what can you do? You know, uh, we still got, um, we still got a while still with this game to go. There's, there's like, what, the fifth ending, maybe? I believe so, anyway. So we still got all the other endings to go, and, and the true one, so... Uh, there's a couple other paths we had to check out. Now, what should happen, all those other paths where we point out, or finger who the, who the... Who set the bombs? That should be unlocked now, so I can go down those paths, and just continue on. So... Slowly but surely, we're, we're inching towards the ending of this game, and it's just insane. It really is. It's gonna be in, it's gonna be sad when I'm officially done with it. But you know what can I do? Uh, I really don't have anything else to say. But I guess we'll just wait wait off wait until this is um, completely finished. So um, so yeah, so until we are completely finish with this. But there's, of course, there's so many other mysteries going on, like, who's Zero, and the whole thing about the white liquid in her hand, or apparently the white blood or whatever, and... Oh, man, I, who knows? Who knows what the hell's going on? I apologize if I was silent towards the end there. I had to take another call. I swear, today's just been pretty damn busy with that. So, yes, it was officially Alice's end. Well, all our ends, really, in a certain sense, but, like, her story-wise. So we have... 
those five, now we have those five. So the ones we're missing is Phi, Luna. Yeah, Phi, Luna, um, Quark, and myself. Because Temi Oji's ending seems like it should have been Quark's ending, but, you know, screw it. So, uh, that's that. Holy crap, that is that. So, in the next episode, guys, um, we actually got a few places to go, if we so desire. We have, yeah, I can either go here, or I can go here. Which is this? Yeah. I can do one of those two. I might... Let's see. I might go in the path that I betrayed Alice in first. Because that's what I originally was doing. And now I'll go to the path where we allied and she betrayed. And then we'll do this. I think, anyway. Wait a minute. No, no, no. What? Oh, no. So what's left is the, the both paths where we betrayed Alice. Okay. Well, regardless, we're going to be doing that in the next episode, guys. And for today, my recording session is over. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. I'll see you guys later.